In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how I turned the ending scene of The Mandalorian Season 3 into bricks for the final part of a collaboration that was going on on Instagram for the last couple of weeks. So get your helmets ready, because this is the way, and let's get started right now. Welcome back to the channel y'all. As a full time Star Wars nerd, I wanted to get back to the team once again, so when I got asked to join the Mandalorian collab, I didn't hesitate for a second. I really enjoyed the mocks that the guys made for the previous seasons, so I was really humbled when they asked me to join for the third season, but very excited at the same time. At first I wasn't sure what to make, but after rewatching the episodes for the third or fourth time, and figured out what brick colors I had free that time, I decided to make the final scene of the season with Mando chilling at his new crib with Din Grogu. But to even be able to start, I of course had to establish the size of the mock that would best capture the whole frame as seen in the show without being too big and time consuming. So for that I had to start with making the N1 Starfighter, which was a must have for this scene. And what better model to use than the one designed and provided to me by my good friend Edge of Bricks. I already had most of the parts for that build in my collection, so after a small complimentary shopping spree to get the ones I was missing, I was ready to get building in a Star Wars style. Yep, that's how we build starships now. I have to admit that this is the best mock of this ship that I've seen and in person it looks even better. You can of course get your copy of the instructions from Edge of Bricks on Rebrickable by following the link in the description, but that's not why we're here, right? We are here to make the whole scene and not only the ship as greatly detailed as it is, so let's now establish the frame of the build. Yes, I'm doing the infamous black frame, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but in order to save some time and parts, I've decided that it's not a bad idea after all. I made the first draft, but after calculating how much space I will actually need to make the house, I had to move the connection point a bit to the right. This way I'll be able to disconnect the whole house section from the rest, because I of course want to take this mock to a convention later this year. So we will have the N1 parked on the right side section with only the ground built and the whole house along with the surrounding details will be on the left side section. And with that planned, I could start covering the ground with plates. I've chosen a color scheme a bit different than the source material since it's a different shade of grey, but in my opinion dark tan should look best here, especially when I will break the color scheme with some medium nougat details. But first, let's make a draft of the dirt pouring out of the frame, and that I want to make with wedge plates since I've grown very fond of this technique as I was using it for a couple of times already. So we will have the wedges going similarly on both sides with a notch in the middle where I will make the pond for Grogu and his frog friend. The pond has a bit of a greenish look to it, but the water is dark and muddy, so I think that olive green plates with black trans tiles should work best here. I will of course extend the pond to the both main sections, but first I had to figure out the overall size. And yeah, it's starting to look like what I was hoping for. At this point I began making the dirt details with some dots and studs and added a few nougat pieces as mentioned earlier. And I think it's looking mighty fine. A fair share of studs and tiles makes up a nice looking pattern on the ground, so let's now move on to the other side. That's what I'm talking about, a nicely detailed piece of ground to break the boring black frame around the build and add some character to it. Now the next step will be covering the whole ground with the same mixture of tiles and plates as in the front, so let's do it with a little time lapse, shall we?
Ok, with that done, it's looking better and better. I've decided to make a wedge edge all around, as the ground behind the ship is not that even in the show, so I guess that'll do. I didn't want to bore you with another time lapse of the rest of the ground, as you would see nothing new here, so I made it off screen, and with that done, it's finally time to start outlining the house itself. And now you can see why I made a hole in the ground here, because later, I will put those slanted columns in the house below the ground level. As for the color of the house, I've decided to go white. It may not be perfect, but I think light bluish grey would be too dark for that, and there is actually nothing fitting in between. So now, let's move on with the house, and the first thing I wanted to do is the window, as it's a very specific shape, and this is what I came up with. The size is good, the curvature of the frame as well, even with that small gaps, but here I'm limited with the selection of bond flaps that LEGO makes, so I'm pretty happy of how it looks now. It actually was a very tricky thing to do, so let's have a quick look at the back so you can see the complex connections I had to make in order to make it right. And with that part established, let's play around with the door frame a bit. The most iconic thing here, besides the overall shape, is that ingot shaped edge of the door frame, and that are exactly the pieces I used here. The problem is that the doors are definitely too thin now, so I'll have to work around that a bit so that the minifigure could actually fit through that door. Ok, and this is what it looks like in the almost final version. Of course, I will have to order a few white curves, but even now, I think it looks great. I will later make the entry terminal here with a sticker, since I won't be able to put any printed tiles to the back of the slope making up the pillar, but I've already found a nice one from the Buzz Astral Starship that came out last year, so I will get it when I'll be ordering the curves. And now of course a quick look in the back, as it was not the easiest thing to do to make it look accurate, and on how I made the door frame section. Loosely placed between the walls, but gets the job done. So let's now move on and make the side walls with again the pillars and some windows, different than the front ones, but yet very similar in terms of techniques. I of course have to cover the back as well, since there is nothing worse than a rainbow in the back of a mock, but yeah, it's going along very nicely. In fact, so nicely that as soon as I got the parts I ordered, I immediately made most of the whole thing without even turning on the camera. And since there is only the roof left to do, the part of the entry visible from the outside and the rest of the details, I figured I will do the rest of screen. So enough of the work in progress shots and let's finally see the whole build completed, because that's what you've been waiting for, right? And after that, stay tuned because I want to show you the rest of the builds that took part in this collab. So without any further ado, I give you the final scene of Season 3 of The Mandalorian and the final mock of our collaboration. Enjoy!
guys, I hope you enjoy seeing this mod completed at least as much as I did building it. Even though it was a small and quick build, I could include some fun and complex techniques which always is a plus while making a mock. But anyway, since you've now seen my part, let's quickly check out what other participants have made. encourage you to go check out their Instagram profiles since they have a lot of different cool builds and as we all know some additional support is always welcome in our community. As for today's video I guess we're done for the day but make sure you stay tuned to the channel because in the next video we'll be starting a brand new building series this time set in the Indiana Jones franchise. So as usual hit that like button if you enjoy what you saw here today Subscribe to the channel to always be up to date with all the builds I'm making and most importantly make sure you keep it breaking.